Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had a big day yesterday on FIFA with new Team of the Season upgrade packs, Conmi Bowl Team of the Group Stage cards, and a lot of pack code that was released and even Weekend League rewards that were updated. So, I want to take a look at all that that happened yesterday and look even ahead into today on Tuesday and what could possibly be happening on this game today. We even have a new card design added by Footwatch a couple hours ago uh, into this game. It's been uploaded by EA. Footwatch saw the code and they're tweeting it out. We might actually be seeing that Tevis card we were talking about yesterday on the live stream. But again, things that came out yesterday on Monday, there's a lot of market movements and maybe... Maybe this is EA Sports kind of, I guess, turning up the hype for Ultimate Team of the Season. We thought that since Sunday, we only had the 80-plus player picks. It wasn't going to be that hype of a week. And then yesterday on Monday, they kind of do the business. They put out an 88-rated plus TOTS upgrade and a 90-plus deluxe TOTS upgrade. So these are both SBCs that we had yesterday. The 88 plus TOTS upgrade, I believe, is coming in right around 200,000 coins. It was an 87 rated squad, low chemistry, and the 88 plus rated TOTS SBC it was an 85 rated squad, low chemistry, coming in at about 100,000 coins. Now, I ended up doing both of these. I got Thomas Muller, and I honestly forget, oh, I got Harvey Barnes out of the second one. So, it was not bad from either one of those SBCs for me today. And opening a lot of those, we had a video on the channel last night opening some of those from the stream. They were actually pretty good. We got some a De Bruyne, a couple Suarez, um, you know, a Bamba, some very decent pack pulls from those packs. And of course, a lot of people went out and did these two SBCs today. Tons and tons of people did these packs. And it's very obvious to tell that they did because SBC fodder literally went not to the moon, right? I mean, to the moon's maybe a little bit of an overstatement. We're not to the moon yet. We have just ex we have experienced liftoff uh, on the fodder because, again, think about what we're at right now. Unless EA does something crazy this next week, we are in a position where fodder is not getting supplied anymore with lightning rounds, with promo packs as much um, because team of the season is ending and we're coming into a, a part of the game entering the summer where last year we had so many SBCs just like these, right? These that's I was talking about that on, on stream today too. The 90 plus deluxe tots and the 88 plus tots upgrade, I almost guarantee you that those SBCs are going to be re-released at some time during the summer. It's basically the party bag of the summer. They released these party bags. They released the TOTS upgrade packs, the TOTS guaranteed SBCs. Again, they released all of those. Uh, last year, we had this exact same thing come out. We Instead of, of it being 90 plus though, there was not a rating cap on it. And that's one thing that we've seen this year so far with these the 90 plus deluxe TOTS and the actual Weekend League rewards that were upgraded for the eFigs stuff, which I'll talk about in a minute too, that EA has put some like rating uh, thresholds on that, which is actually a W. So, I mean, I think we're going to see at least this 90 plus deluxe again. I think we'll see them both again. They're only out for two days, so they could get re-upped on Wednesday or Thursday later this on this week. I think that's very, very possible. But again, SBC fodder. Now, yesterday, um, during squad battle rewards and a little bit during the morning, I went a million coins in on fodder. Now, I really didn't sell a lot of it. All the stuff that I have listed on my transfer targets or transfer list right now, these are all cards that I bought extra of, like one or two extra, and I'm lazy listing those, right? And that's the biggest tip that I'm going to give you guys is if you bought fodder, you don't necessarily have to sell it. Now, you could cash out yesterday, like Thomas Partey. I thought I was lazy listing this card, and this dude went from 4,800 coins to 9K. Like, he was legit 9K. Now, other cards, like this Pjanic, only went up to like 13,000 coins, but I got a lucky sale at 17K. So what I did was I bought a lot of these 84s, 85s, and 86s, Sunday night into Monday, and I, I li listed all my um, extras for lazies, and I had some sales coming in, and that's the biggest tip I'm going to give you guys is if you bought fodder, as we have SBCs this week, which it looks like we're going to continue to have good content, keep that stuff always listed on the market, right? Because people are in the SBC mode. They're going to be buying these players for uh, uh, packs and stuff like that or to get packs, and you know people are lazy, right? They overpay for stuff, so Definitely list above where those cards are actually selling at and list for lazies unless you're actually just trying to get the cards out and take your coins. Now, I know a lot of fodder exploded today, right? Some of it's come back down a little bit. The 84s, I think, have come back down a decent amount. We had the index at 190 points. We exploded up to 259. And right now on the index, we're down at 244. So some people that invested in fodder when the codes came out, like the codes dropped right here. 
Um, the codes dropped like an hour before the content and 84 started to go up. But then of course they exploded when we got both of those TOTS upgrade packs um, yesterday. Now I know the 84s, you're like, man, 84s went up a lot. They were 4,000 coins. Now they're 6K. Should I be selling them? In my opinion, I'm not selling, right? That's why you only saw me listing for lazies today. My whole move with buying fodder was not to sell when they go to 6K, right? I mean, because we know these guys are going to go to 9,000 coins. They could reach highs of almost 13, 14,000 coins on both consoles. So me seeing the 84s are still 5.8K, I still think there's room for a rise here. I mean, if you didn't buy any fodder, I'm not telling you to go out and like invest right now. All I'm saying is in the grand scheme of things, this SBC fodder is not that high. Even 86s, they really haven't dropped after content and after their boom. I mean, 19K for 86s. I mean, these guys were in the peak times, 30,000 coins. Earlier this year, they were 40K when the Icon player pick was out, right? All it's going to take is a couple more weeks of good content, and these 86s are going to just continually start to grad gradually rise up and continue to go higher. So, I mean, would I be buying fodder right now if you didn't get in before? Not necessarily. I mean, you could look at if we have a quiet day, maybe during rewards, maybe on Friday during the um, Euros content, if there is a lot, if there's stuff in packs, maybe fodder can come back down again to its absolute lows. But I honestly don't know if you're going to see 84s at 4K again. I don't know if you're going to see 85s at 8K. I mean, I think we're honestly just starting to kind of rise back up and these cards are going to be in demand with more SBCs coming out. So that's kind of the situation with fodder, right? I'm still holding a lot of my stuff. I have it listed for lazies. Now we'll talk about what happened to the rest of the market because I have a lot of other cards in here that I traded with because there was a lot of panic selling and also rebound. So I want to talk about that as well. But I want to show you guys this code once again because I feel like this needs to be talked about and we didn't talk about it last night because of course this code was dropped right before the content on Monday. So we had a 90, pl 90 rated plus major tots player that was the deluxe. We had Conny Bowl Libertadores team of the group stage and Conny Bowl Sudamerica team of the group stage cards released. Also a Conny Bowl Libertadores squad foundations. And as of right now, we do not have the Sudamerica team of the group stage or squad foundations players for the Conny Bowl added into the game. So it's something that we're kind of thinking, hey, you know, right now we've got the Libertadores, these cards right here. Um, maybe they're going to be adding in um, a couple of those Sud America team of the group stage cards at some point. I don't know if that's going to be included like later in the middle of this week and all the Conmebol Bowl team of the group stage stuff is, stuff is going to be done by Friday or how that's going to work, but that is something that could be coming. And then at some time this week too, I think we'll see some sort of squad foundations for the Conmebol Bowl Libertadores cards as well. And that's of course going to have its own uh, card design in FIFA. So along with that code yesterday that was dropped, they uh, released the 88 plus. And then of course, um, Footwatch was clarifying what that 90 plus tots uh, pack was and what the 88 plus tots uh, pack was as well. But this is the code that I want to show you guys. This was dropped just a little bit ago. This card design right here, which is basically just a normal flashback. But you see up here, oh, I'm pointing the wrong way right there. Libertadores, you see that? It's a flashback card design with the Libertadores um, logo at the top. And this is screaming. I'm telling you right now, I am. this it almost has to be, I mean, not 100% confirmed, but this is what everybody's thinking about. Carlos Tevez, right? Carlos Tevez did not get into the Economy Bowl team, the group stage team. Um, and of course, it has been mentioned that he might be leaving Boca Juniors, right? So um, this could be a perfect opportunity for EA to drop a flashback Carlitos Tevez SBC that would um, highlight his, you know, inclusion in last year's Conmy Bowl team of the group stage or Conmy Bowls, man of the matches, whatever they were called. He had a, he had a really insane card last year, and it's Carlos Tevez, right? So we've had an SBC for him or a, a special card in packs towards the end of the year, every single year for the past couple of years. So I think that might be what that SBC is, but it's interesting that we have a specific flashback card design for the Libertadores. So that's kind of interesting there. Now talking about the rest of the market and what could even come later today on Tuesday, there was a lot of panic selling, a lot of panic selling yesterday because people needed to sell cards to get coins in order to go do this pack. Now team of the season cards is where I looked at the most couple icons as well yesterday. But 
Prime example, numero uno for me was this guy right here, Cheeky Kaylor Navas. So this dude was 130,000 coins when the content dropped yesterday, right? Before the SBCs came out and he was 130K, he went all the way down to 110 and I just sold one a little bit ago back up to 130. Uh, so that fluctuations like that with the panic selling and then the rebound was key, right? You're gonna see this all the time when we have SBCs like this. Romain Alessandrini, is that, wh what? That's just sitting there. Okay, well, I bought an Alessandrini. <laughs> what in the world? That just goes to show how dead the market is right now. 203,000 coins, and this Alessandrini is a 230,000 coin card on the market. I bought a Alessandrini today for 200,000 coins flat during the panic selling, which I then went and relisted and sold mine. It was on my transfer list there. You saw it at... Uh, you saw it at like 230,000 coins. Wait, where is, okay, well my transfer list is glitched out, but you know, I do have that Alessandrini somewhere on my transfer list. I'll have to back in and out of FIFA to get it, but he went down to 200K, went back to 230 where he is right now. So I just snagged a cheeky undercut and we're making coins on this video, unbelievable. But that's the kind of fluctuations that I think you guys wanna watch out for when we have packs like this. When we have big time content, the stuff that is meta, the stuff that is hype. And the reason why I looked at Marquinhos, I flipped to Marquinhos today, and um, why I looked at Alessandrini and why I looked at Kaylor Navas is because those are cards that are new and that are hype. A lot of people have those cards tradable in their team after last week of the League One team of the season. Now, some cards went down and didn't really rebound today, right? I mean, I'm looking at uh, Depay. Went to, he went from like 690,000 coins down to 640 maybe back up to 670, but there's not a lot of profit in that. Some cards didn't really rebound that well today. And if that happens, just take note, right? Take note of which cards do well and which ones do not do well. So like I've made a mental note, hey, this Alessandrini card, he still has some hype right now. Even with the Usman Dembele SBC being out, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Now I tried to buy Malin today. I bought Malin at 112,000 coins. He's 121. Yeah, I'm going to wait for that to possibly bounce back up a little bit into the day, but I'm going to try to get that out before 6 p.m. if we're getting a Carlos Tevez SBC today, because that is another striker in this game that people might want to go out and do. But again, that's kind of what I'd be watching out for. Like uh, LaCroix was down at 445. He bounced back to 483. Muller was like 235. He bounced back. Coleman was 300K flat. He's up a little bit. Neuer was in the 120s. He's back to 142. Kimmich was even 440 as an in-packs card, as an ultimate team of the season player. Even though there wasn't tradable pack supply, he was panic sold and then rebounded. So just watch out for that sort of market movement when we have SBCs like that. Fodder's gonna go up. And yes, people are technically like losing coins and losing buying power on this game. I'm pretty sure also that I saw Suarez at like uh, 470 or something like that, 460. And now he's back a couple cards from 530K. Um, he was he was just 468 a little bit ago. But yeah, you can see the drop here down to 440. Then he rebounded to 490. So there was absolutely, absolutely opportunities to trade with this stuff. You see a sell off with the content and then a bounce back on these cards because people, you know, they sell the card that they thought they were gonna pack. Oh shoot, they didn't pack it. So they have to go back out and they have to buy it. So that's the kind of fluctuation that you could see and, off and pay, make some coins off of when this stuff does happen again inside of FIFA. Now again, today, if we were to get some sort of Carlos Tevez SBC, that's probably gonna impact some strikers in this game. You know, some strikers that are low right now, like this, uh, baby Pushkas icon card is under 500k. He was like 500k high this weekend. I bought a ba two baby Etos yesterday, one at 500 and one at 515, and this guy's still 530. And I'm a little scared again with the Carlitos Tevez. If that SBC is really good value, you know, you might have some people go go out and sell some of their icons to go do that SBC. This moment's Kaka was really low earlier today. Um, you know, and I'm also, I also want to put this message out, message out there. Watch out for your Argentine icons, because I know that like this Zanetti card, 250, 250 for, for prime Zanetti. I mean, I understand that there's a new, um, right back probably that dropped with this team, but I'm pretty sure this Zanetti card is usually about 300,000 coins. And right now it's showing 250, um, just to check the graph and make sure that he's not stupid high for some reason, 248, and he'd rebound to 250. So I'm going to buy this at 250,000 coins for this Prime Zanetti and list this up. Wow, I'm just finding deals like nobody's business today on the market. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to list this up at 300,000 coins. But the, the comment that I was trying to make here is uh, watch out for your Argentine icons because if there is a Tevez today, 
if there are hype players as a part of the economy bull squad, whether it's objectives, SBCs, or whatever that people want to go out and use, uh, that's going to be more demand for maybe people trying to link some of those guys. Like this baby Maradona was 1.2 mil flat. He rebounded to 1.3. Right now he's 1275. But just stuff like that is what I would keep a watch on, right? I know there's not a ton of really overpowered and meta icons, uh, but this Zanetti Moments card, 428K is the cheapest one. And then there's some at 440. I mean, this guy was 400K flat under 400K. So he's up a little bit for sure. I think with the links to the most popular uh, economy bull card, which is this Chen Calais card, uh, four star, four star, the unique, is it unique body type, lean body type. Uh, he just looks like he fits the meta very, very well. And uh, of course, if a Tevez were to come out today, that'd be a nice green link to a Tevez. This bow card, I mean, there's a couple cards in here that are pretty hype, right? And you can see people are thinking that Tevez is gonna come out today um, because of that. But again, just to kind of show um, what happened on the market today, just to kind of paint the picture, this is what happened again. This Nani card, 550K during squad battle rewards, which we knew was gonna be the best time to buy. He was 483,000 coins. He was still around 510 at the content drop, or he went up to like 530, dropped back down to 510, and then kept going past 550. That was one side of the coin today, some panic selling, and then a rebound. This was the other side of the coin. Look at this Usman Dembele. He has 820,000 coins to do. During squad battle rewards, 640K. 640K. Look how much the fodder has gone up across the board on cards in this game. So, Again, that's just painting the picture of what happened yesterday on the market. Now, again, looking forward into what could happen today on Tuesday. We talk about that Tevez or whoever flashback SPC it's going to be. Again, it's got to be hype. If it's going to be somebody good, big name player like Tevez, they got to price it well. And it kind of seems like they're shifting the content around this week. Like they're really trying to make some hype content, you know, with the 88 plus, with the 90 plus. Um, you know, maybe we are going to see a pretty hype week of FIFA after all. So that's a very interesting thing to see. Now, the only thing with uh, content that's not been so good are those gold uh, player picks. Now, right now, I believe that gold rares are still basically 750 coins on the market. So if you're trying to do player picks, um, just buy all golds because commons are basically the same price as rare golds. And sometimes people are paying more for commons, even though you only need two rares in the SBC. Sometimes when you see people like buying up the commons, uh, it's almost just more worth it to do these 80 plus packs if you're going to do them, uh, to do them with all rares. So just kind of wanted to shout that out as well. But uh, this, I, these really aren't giving out. And again, one thing that we had a laugh about today in the live stream was if you take a look at the store and you look at the pack weight, take a look at this right here, 50K packs, right? Just two days ago, when all of the team of the season from rest of the world and MLS were still in packs, you had an 11% chance or 9% chance of packing a TOTS card during that time frame. Now, with only the ultimate TOTS cards in packs, 1.1%. It's such, such, such a hard thing to do, pack an ultimate TOTS. So again, you know, it's just very hard to pack those TOTS cards from the player picks. If you've gotten them, GG's. The economy bull cards aren't that rare. We opened some on stream yesterday and we saw somebody pack that bow card, the striker. So they're definitely, those are definitely popping out in packs and they're going to pop out a lot during rewards this week too, in my opinion. But the ultimate TOTS cards, they're really not getting supplied. And so if these card prices are going to drop, it's going to be with rewards and it's just going to be, with panic now some of these guys are down like cristiano ronaldo was under six mil today he's barely under six mil right now he was like five eight i think at one point um messi was 2.6 at one point as well and i believe messi is now back up in the two eights two seven highs so i mean you're seeing a lot of fluctuation on these cards uh but i think once we get towards rewards day we'll see of course with the content that happens later on this week too um what happens to those cards price wise so again today's content on tuesday I mean, unless they add some more pack code and they're going to drop a new pack, when we have had hype weeks, we have gotten icon SBCs, whether it's players or whether it is icon upgrade packs. So if this is going to be one of those hype weeks like Bundesliga or La Liga team of the season, then we could see some sort of icon pack or, or the SBC today, whether it's a player or an upgrade, which I think a lot of people are really wanting. You know, we've got all these great packs that are a part of Icon Swaps, like the Icon Moments Pack, the 92 Plus Moments Pack, um, even like some prime player picks, a 92 Plus Prime Icon Player Pick, people would 100% do that SBC. Or an Icon Moments Player Pick, 
Um, now, I don't know how long EA is going to wait to be releasing some of that content, but if that was something that EA wanted to do this week, it would make sense maybe for them to kind of put in some sort of icon content. We shall see. But again, that's kind of what's going on in the state of the game in FIFA right now. As you can see, it's, it's very easy to make coins. Very, very easy to make coins. Trading cards. Fodder is going up. So if you have that stuff, I mean, I don't think you have to sell. I think it's it's a waiting game. With It goes up. You can, you can kind of make the decision yourself, right? Are you happy with how much fodder has gone up? Uh, do you want to try to squeeze a little bit of extra profit out of it? Do you think you can? Or are you just going to say, hey, you know what? This has gone up. I'm going to take my coins. Or you're like, nah, this is going to go up further. That's kind of my approach. I think it is going to go up further. And I have no problem waiting. I'm not unassigned. I still have enough coins to trade with regularly on the market. Like as you saw me buy the Zanetti and the... Um, and the um, excuse me, by the Zanetti and the Alessandrini, I still have some coins to play with. So I'm not necessarily needing to sell my fodder right now. I'm just going to keep waiting until it goes up higher and higher on this market as they release more content. So that's all that we're talking about today. And hopefully we get a nice Tevez SBC. I think a lot of people in FIFA would like to see that. It'd be a very cool card. And uh, obviously it'd be a little harder to link, but you could probably make it work, right? So watch some of your Argentinian links if Tevez is a very good value SBC today. And also watch out on some strikers. If he's really good value, you might see some strikers take a hit in price as people go and do that SBC. But the 88 plus is a W. The 90 plus is a W. And again, that's what I just want to leave you with at the end of this video is that kind of content. Those sort of SBCs is how the summer operates in FIFA. There's going to be lots of these, right? So all sorts of different upgrade packs, party bags, all sorts of stuff like this. If they start re-releasing old promo teams, they'll do more and new party bags and stuff like that. And if there's Euros content that's coming too, who knows, man? Who knows? So hopefully things are looking on the up and up and hopefully we have good content continuing throughout this week in FIFA. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.